Hello everyone, it's me, Seaman Wizard, and in today's video, I'm going to give you an extensive tutorial on how to combo people in Minecraft Bedrock Edition. So let's do it. Alright, we are going to cover three main topics in this video. First off, I will teach you guys how to start combos. Second of all, I will share with you how to keep combos alive. And lastly, I will share with you all the tips and tricks I know so that you guys can become successful at comboing people. Before I play this clip, let's talk about the weapons used in starting combos. The two best weapons for this job are snowballs or the bow and arrow. This is because both of them deal ranged knockback, which is basically like getting reach for your first hit and thus allows you to combo them. Here's a clip of me starting a combo with a snowball. As you can see, I'm able to hit the person with the snowball before they can hit me, and that is what allows me to get a combo. The same goes for the bow. All you have to do is shoot the person before they can quite reach you, and there you go, you've got a combo. Keeping combos going is a lot harder than starting them. This is because you have to constantly stay in a position, even while moving, where you can hit your opponent, but your opponent can't hit you. There are two main ways of doing this, and that is W-tapping and S-tapping. Now I will play you two quick clips. The first clip is me W-tapping, and the second is S-tapping. Then I will explain to you exactly how I do both of these. Okay, all that W and S tapping are is ways of refreshing your sprint. And this just means that when you're sprinting and you get hit, then when you hit again, you will deal less knockback. But if you refresh your sprint either by tapping W or S, then your knockback will be at its height. So, as soon as you attack a player, either let up on W and press it again, or press S. Both of these will refresh your sprint, and therefore you can deal the most knockback possible. Here's a few more clips of me W and S tapping, so that you can watch and copy exactly what I do. Oh yeah, one thing I forgot to mention. Aim is very important. If you can't aim, you're not going to be able to combo. Period. Aiming is the most important part about any PvP. So, if you can't aim very well, it's okay. It comes with practice. A lot of practice. Now, if you're looking to combo, and I assume you are, since you're watching this video, CPS is important. It's not the most important thing in the world, but it's definitely something to consider. Because think about it, the faster you click, the more opportunities you get to hit the other player. That means, if they're running at you and you're clicking 11 CPS and they're only clicking 4, you have a much higher probability to hit them first than them to hit you first, since you're clicking faster. I would say the minimum CPS for comboing people is 6 to 7. If you can't click 6 to 7 CPS pretty consistently, you're not going to be able to combo very well. There's just going to be too big of gaps between your clicks. Another thing, strafing is also very important. If you don't have snowballs or a bow, then the only way to start a combo is strafing or luck. Now, what I mean by luck is like, they're running towards you and they miss the hit and they jump. That is the perfect time to start a combo. 
but if they have some skill, they'll run at you and be punching and trying to get the first hit. So what you have to do is strafe, which means running from side to side as you're running forward. And what this does is it means that if you get attacked and you're running straight forward, you will take directly backwards knockback. But if you're running forward and a little bit to the side at the same time, the end result knockback will be at an angle, which means you don't get knocked back quite as far, which also means that you'll be able to get the next hit. If you're having trouble clicking six to seven clicks per second consistently, I will link two tutorials down below, one for jitter clicking and one for butterfly clicking. Both of these methods should help you get that six to seven CPS no problem. If you're looking for more awesome comboing content, please check out my other video on comboing. It has lots of awesome clips that you can watch and try to copy. Thank you so much for watching, and if you liked anything in this video, please let me know in the comment section down below, so that way I can be sure to produce the content that you all like the most. Thanks, and I'll see you in the next one.